Hey, howdy, and how are you doing? You know what? I just realized walking around a job site, it's like, why would somebody need to lift this monster and work out with it? You know why? Bad box fill. You're saying, isn't it for health and nutrition and well, well-being? No, because of this. When you do box fill wrong, you better work out because you're going to be bench pressing wires all day long. Come with me to Article 314. Let's knock this out. So officially, Article 314 in the 2020 Code, again, back to the book, don't glaze on me, hang in there, it's worth your time. Article 314, outlet, device, pull junction boxes, conduit bodies, fittings, and handholds. All right, but I'm going to uh, part two, and we're just going to do an introduction today because there's a lot of detail, but here's the deal. We're looking at a box. This is a standard cut-in box in residential. We use these all the time for new work adding plugs and switches. So I've got three 12-3 Romexes in here. Is this okay? And normally what I see is, again, if I can bench press all those wires in there, it goes. Here's the problem. That ain't right. Let's talk about that. So Article 314 talks about assigning each wire gauge, 14, 12, 10, and so on, a cubic inch each. And what's that's doing is saying, hey, this wire deserves so much space in this box. If you got too many wires, bigger box. That's the bottom line. So I walk around job sites, we're talking about with new construction, all the time. You can tell because you come up and you see a plug and the face is a little bowed. You're thinking, how'd that happen? And as you take the plate off and back this out, there's a massive wire that's spring-loaded with its own life, like, release me, is coming out. Okay? So, Here's a question you should be asking instead of, well, I'll just get stronger and bench press more wire in there. Uh, no. If you look the simple way with new construction plastic boxes, nylons, or old work, if you look in back, it'll tell you how many wires of certain sizes you can stick in this box. So like this one is an 18 cubic inch, pretty standard, uh, as is this 18 cubic inch. So let's go to this one. This one says I could put eight number 12s in here. Well. Three conductors, and again, rule of thumb, and the code, is the conductors, hots and neutrals, count as conductors. You count all your grounds as one wire. That's in the code, not sure why, but that's what it is. So if we do this, we've got three, six, nine, ten. We're already over. Now here's the surprise, and this is something I never thought of when I was coming up. Again, if I can mash that wire in there and have somebody brace me or get in there and really push. but this device counts as two wires if you go to Article 314. So if this says, hey, you can only stick eight number 12s in here, and this takes off two because the device obviously needs its own space too, right? Well, that means I can only have six in here. The grounds count as one. Now I can do five. Well, guess what? That means as far as 12 threes, I can only have one in here with the device. A lot of you are saying, wait, wait, wait. So here's the deal. The reason this happens, we don't plan. We're rolling through, let's say you're doing a kitchen remodel. Kitchen remodels are the worst, right? Because we're not doing layout. A lot of times we're just blowing and going, putting in backsplash plugs. All of a sudden somebody says, hey, James, doesn't that countertop need to have its own circuit? And I look at my boxes, it's already got a bunch of Romexes in it. So what's the problem? A, I didn't plan, and B, because I didn't plan, I used boxes that were too small. I end up having to do the bench press. Okay, so one of the ways to do this is become familiar with how many cubic inches your boxes are using, what they actually have. Now, if you're a little lazy like I am sometimes, the other thing is when you buy boxes, just get the biggest boxes you can get in terms of cubic inches. So, 18 cubic inches isn't unfortunately the smallest box, but you can get these in 20 or 22 cubic inches. So you say, well, James, why would I spend an extra 40 cents? I don't know, why wouldn't you? Spend 40 cents, you can put the wires in there, you still need to do the calculations, but if you're not crowded, then it's just a better install, okay? So, 
for today, I just want to make you aware, there is an article that talks about, tells you exactly how to figure out how many wires you're supposed to put in a box. Article 314, the book, okay? For God's sakes, look in the back of your box. It'll tell you. If it's a plastic box by Cantax, Carlon, any of those, if you look in the back, there'll be a little table printed on the back of this box. It will tell you, okay? And then your, your devices, your regular single devices, switch or plug, even a GFI, takes up two off the top, okay? That's for single gang. Thanks for joining me today. I want you to be aware as you're going out there looking around, you're on your jobs, start looking at those boxes. Start looking. You're going to catch those. So the other big thing while I'm looking at this box, in the back here it says, hey, ABR, click like and subscribe. Looking forward to your comments. Have a great day.